Hi and welcome to my maths class. In this video, we are going to talk about completing the square. Now completing the square is not a method that you just use to solve for x. Usually you would find alternatives like the formula or trinomials. But the reason we learn it is because we use it in analytical geometry in grade 12 and we use it for drawing of graphs in grade 11. Now completing the square means they want the equation in the form of a into x minus p all squared plus q is equal to 0. And from there they want you to solve. Now when we have an equation the first step is to get x which is x is equal to minus b over 2a. So we have x is equal to minus 1 over 2 times 2 which is minus a quarter. Once we have x we substitute x and we get y. So I'm going to take x and I'm going to put it into the original equation. So I have 2 into minus a quarter all squared plus a quarter minus 5. I'm substituting it into the original equation. This would give us minus 37 over 8. Now, to rewrite it, the x is usually, the x is your p and the y is your q. So we'd have 2 coming from our original question into x minus, and then we have minus a quarter, all squared minus 37 over 8 is equal to 0. Now remember the reason it's a negative is because the positive times the negative would give us a negative. Now we solve for x using our square root. I'm going to have 2 into x plus a quarter because a negative and a negative will equal to a positive. All squared is equal to 37 over 8. Then I'm going to divide by 2, divide by 2 giving me x plus a quarter is equal to x plus a quarter all squared is equal to 37 over 16. Then we square root both sides giving us x plus a quarter is equal to negative root of 37 over 16 and x plus a quarter is equal to positive root of 37 over 16. We further solve x is equal to negative root 37 over 16 minus a quarter. x is equal to positive root of 37 over 16 minus a quarter. You can then use your calculator if they say they want it in third form, you may leave it in this form. If they say they want it in a decimal, then you have to use your calculator to get the correct answer. x is equal to negative 1,77 and x is equal to 1,27. It is important to learn this method. You will need it for grade 12. The next method we're doing is simultaneous equations. The simultaneous equations work exactly like your grade 10 question. The only difference is that the questions tend to get more intense and you end up with trinomials instead of linear equations. Now number one you're going to make x or y the subject. So if we had the equation 2x minus y minus 3 is equal to 0 and xy is equal to 5. Now if you look at the two equations, if we work with the x, y is equal to 5, even though it looks like it's easier, you'd end up with 5 over x, which is a fraction. Now to choose a fraction over a linear equation is making your work harder for you. It would be wiser to choose 2x minus y minus 3. The one you would choose would be the negative y because then you can get y alone without actually obtaining a fraction. So let's make y the subject of the formula. 
I'm going to take the y over, so I'm going to have 2x minus 3 is equal to y. Then we are going to substitute. When we substitute, we're going to have x into wherever y is, I'm taking it out and I'm putting 2x minus 3 is equal to, I'm working with this particular equation. So I have x into 2x minus 3 is equal to 5. Next, we simplify. When we simplify, be careful. It is at this level that a lot of mistakes are made. You simplify incorrectly and then you continue with this error all, all the way down. We're going to have 2x squared minus 3x is equal to 5. So, if we bring it down and we make a trinomial equal to 0, we would have 2x and x. When we factorizing, it's a trinomial. We have 2x minus 5 into x plus 1. So 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. 2x is equal to 5. x is equal to 5 over 2. Then we have x plus 1 is equal to 0. x is equal to negative 1. But once we are done simplifying and we have solved for x, you have to go back and solve for the other unknown. So in this case, we are going to go back to 2x minus 3 is equal to y. We are going to substitute the 5 over 2 and the minus 1 into x to get y. So we have 2 into 5 over 2 minus 3 is equal to y y is equal to 2. And we have to do the second one where 2 into minus 1 minus 3 is equal to y. So we have y is equal to minus 5. It is a good habit to write your answers as coordinates. Coordinates means my x and my y, my x and my y. They don't often penalize but it would help you with graphs at a later stage. Thank you for watching.